on episode 7 of Beetlejuice Minecraft episode. The last episode, number 6, we have the most viewed video on the Gaming Time YouTube channel, and that's a huge celebration. You know, it's just everyone loves Beetlejuice. He is the best. And there's only one reason why that video did so well, and I'm gonna let Beetlejuice say it himself. Well, let me ask you this. Who was the best boxer ever, in your opinion? I know you're a boxing uh, expert. Me? On to the recap, we have Randy Orton, who's now a good guy, no longer the bad guy, who reclaimed his WWE Championship from John Cena. He's 9-11, and he's a two-time champ, and he's a three-time MVP. We have Sasha Banks, our longest reigning women's champ, and our current champ. She wants to be a bad guy, we're going to do that this episode. She's 11-5, and she's a three-time champ and a two-time MVP. Rhea Ripley, our current women's tag champ, she reclaimed the titles from the Iconics, but with a new partner, Beth Phoenix, not Tony Storm. She's 13 and 6, best record we have, two-time women's champ, one-time MVP. We have Beth Phoenix, our other women's tag champ. She didn't start off hot, but she turned it around. She's 4 and 3, and she's our current tag champ. Not only that, she's our first legend to win a championship in the series. One half of our longest reigning tag champs, Tyler Breeze. He's 8 and 10. He's a one time tag champ. The other half of our tag team champions, the Fashion Police, Fondango, 5 and 7. He's a one time tag team champ. We have Jinder Mahal right behind Rhea Ripley for best record in the series with 12 and 6. He's a one time tag champ and one time MVP. We have Eric, who's 8 and 3 with a great record and should be a one time tag champ, but the game robbed him. You know, and he's a little bit angry about that. The rated R Superstar Edge at 10 and 8, surprisingly no championships won at all. The newly acquired Shawn Michaels Heartbreak Kid who jumped from SmackDown to Raw is 2 and 1. Finn Balor, the man for two episodes straight was 0 and 0 because we did not use him at all, is now 1 and 0 and he should be a tag champ, but like Eric, he was robbed by 2K Games. It's in the game. The Hulkster, the man with 24-inch pythons, Hulk Hogan at 7-6. and six. Damian Priest at 5-3. and three. The bad guy, Scott Hall at 5-4. and four. The big sweaty man, Braun Strowman at 9-9, nine and nine, one-time tag champ, one-time MVP. Austin Theory at 1-1. One and one. Newly acquired Kane at 0-0. Zero and zero. Mr. You Can't See Me, John Cena at 7-9, and nine. he's a two-time champion. Bailey at 6 and 8, two-time women's champion, two-time MVP. Tony Storm, 6 and 10. She started off hot, then she went in a slump, and now she's kinda getting back in there. She's a one-time tag champ. Payne Roy, she's 5 and 6, and she's our former one-time tag champ. Billy Kay, our other former tag champ, is 6 and 12, and she's a one-time tag champ. Raquel Gonzalez, 7 and 8, and she's our first co-MVP with Bailey. Cedric Alexander at 4 and 6. Drew Gulak, we didn't use him last week, so he stays at 3 and 6. The Rattlesnake, Stone Cold at 1 and 7. It's Slapnuts MVP of the Week time. The male Slapnuts MVP of the Week is the immortal Hulk Hogan, the first legend of the series to receive this award. I mean, we've been through everything together. As for the women's slap nuts MVP, we have yet another co-MVP as it goes to yet another tag team, the newly formed tag team of Beth Phoenix and Rhea Ripley. That was all my idea. How dare you? On to Raw, we have Michaels vs. Stone Cold continuing their rivalry. Shawn Michaels picks up the win and Stone Cold just can't win at all. We turn Sasha Banks heel like we promised, now she's the bad guy. Finn Balor vs. Cena, Finn's first one-on-one -on -one match, and John Cena wins! Name is John Cena! In a mediocre match, didn't start a rivalry. Austin Theory calls out Randy Orton, didn't start a rivalry, that's sad. Cedric vs. Kane, Hell in a Cell, Kane wins his first match. Gave Cedric something to do, gave Kane a victim. Fandango, promo. Hogan, Scott Hall, we love it. We love just running matches into the ground, and Hulk Hogan wins. On to SmackDown, a tag team's title match. They love doing it. Robert and Brock versus Dexter and The Undertaker, and they pick up the win and the titles. Titus ran in. Pete Dunne cuts a promo. Roderick versus Batista. I haven't seen this match in a while. Batista picks up the win, and it starts a rivalry. Now we have The Rock giving out food, because you can smell that for charity. Shotzi versus Becky for the women's title. Shotzi picks up the win. 
in a good match. John Morrison calls out the new tag team champion Undertaker in the rivalry groves. Mandy and Natalya versus Asuka and Mickey James. Extreme rules. Mickey and Asuka pick up the win. Asuka gets injured, but we win. Well, who would win in a fight? You or Mayweather? Me? You're better than Mayweather. Okay. Yeah. Shawn Michaels asks Beetlejuice for a match in his hometown of San Antonio. Scott Hall thanks us for the rematch against Hogan, but he couldn't beat him because no one could beat the Hulkster. He's just too good. On to Raw, we give Michaels his match he wanted against Stone Cold. He picks up the win. Stone Cold just isn't getting any breaks. Rivalry grows. Give Billy Kay a promo because she's no longer a champ. Kane and Cedric. Giving Cedric as many opportunities as we can, he picks up the win in an Extreme Rules match. Gets vengeance for last week. Starts a rivalry. Randy calls out Austin. Switch it up. Didn't work. Sasha Banks. She called out Tony. We gave Tony a match for the title. And Tony's our new women's champ. And it starts a rivalry. Cena calls out Finn. Doesn't work. Tyler Breeze. Extreme rules against Damian Priest. Damian Priest said, hey, we could do it together. And he picks up the win. Over to SmackDown, Natalya and Nia Jax, tables match, one-on-one. -on -one. They just love these dangerous matches. Nia Jax gets injured again in the win. Mickey James cuts a promo, pick up the job, or Tamara or Ty Cross versus Tamina in a tables match. Tamina destroys her in a disappointing match. Dexter Loomis cuts a terrible promo. Pete Dunne in The Rock versus Robert Roode and Chester. Chester just can't pick up the win, but starts a rivalry, so Chester's going to come back. Titus calls out Robert Roode. Undertaker just won the tag title. Faces Brock for the Universal. Wins it. He's a double champ, but he gets injured. But that doesn't matter. We win. You or uh, Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson is a p He's scared of me. As their rivalry grows, Tyler's upset. He lost to Damian Priest. Sasha Banks wanted a heel turn. She called out Tony Storm. We gave her that. We gave her the title match, and she lost. She wants a rematch. We give it to her. On to Raw, title match has started off, Randy versus Cena, everyone loves this, Randy wins, Austin Theory tried to run in, didn't affect him, Finn Balor cuts a promo, gave Sasha what we wanted, rematch against Tony, Hell in a Cell, for the title, Tony's just on a roll, picks up yet another win, rivalry grows, Raquel cuts a promo, tag team action, Fashion Police versus Jinder and Eric, Edge runs in, Fashion Police pick up the win, in an okay match, self promo for Bailey. we did we did what Tyler wanted. We gave him a win. Anyway, Cedric versus Kane. Tables match. They're just going crazy. And Kane wins. On to SmackDown. They pick up another jobber. Mandy Rose versus Cora Cut. Hell in a Cell. Mandy just destroys her. I don't know why they do it. It's a classic. And it starts a rivalry. That. Why? Natalia calls out the injured Nia Jax. They pick up another jobber. Maya T. Kurt versus Becky Lynch. And Becky just destroys her in a disappointing match. Mickey James cuts a promo. Here we go. Rematch from last week. Tamina versus Tamara. Tamina just wins again. They have so many jobbers. It's because they keep on injuring everyone. Shotzi cuts a promo. Speaking of jobbers, the Manchester one-on-one -on -one with the Rock main event. But the Rock wins. Uh, Chester gets hurt, but we win, so that's important. He can't beat me. He scared of me. He really? I beat his ass. Triple H lets us know we can't do any special matches because the price is going to go up and we need that money. Sasha Banks thanks us for the rematch even though she lost. Shouldn't have called out Tony. She was your partner, your friend, your amigo. Austin Theory tells us he wants to team up with Priest. We tell him you got it buddy. You guys are the men. On to Raw, we continue the rivalry, tables match, Shawn Michaels, Stone Cold, we didn't care. Specialty match, we'll pay the money. Rivalry grows, Hogan does some charity, gives out t-shirts. Fashion Police gave Austin and Damian their match. Fashion Police retained their title, there was a run-in. John Cena calls out Randy Orton, grow that rivalry up so we can end it. Now we have the Iconics versus Beth and Rhea for the tag titles. Bailey runs in, doesn't matter. Bailey Ripley... Rivalry starts. Finn Balor cuts a promo. We give Tony and Sasha another match. No title on the line this time. And Tony picks up yet another win against Sasha. On to SmackDown. I'm just upset Undertaker and Chester are injured. Extreme rules match. Nia Jax just comes back and she's out again. Gets injured. Natalya destroys her. Pete Dunne does charity. Look, they have everyone's injured, so they have to have Cora Cut and Maya do a tag match. Cora Cut and Mickey James pick up the win against Mandy and Maya. Here we go, rivalry again, Tamina vs. Tamara, Some similar names, Tamina wins, forgot to mention Titus calls out Robert, who cares, Shotzi, self promo, Chester should have been here, The Rock and Batista versus Robert and Roderick, and Rock and Batista pick up the win, should have been Chester, but we win. Thank you both. I'm the boss. I something we have Stephanie sliding in Beetlejuice's DMs, trying to do some trash talking, but that don't work on Beetlejuice, baby, he ain't scared of you. 
Shawn Michaels, his contract runs up, tells us he wants to come back. We say, sure thing, we aren't SmackDown. You could come back because you're our friend. Triple H lets us know Tony Storm can't compete, so Sasha, you're not getting a rematch at the pay-per-view. Austin Theory said, hey, I told you, man. I told you, me and Damian, we the guys, but we lost, you know, because we not the guys. Beth Phoenix saying she feels a little bit hurt. You know, she's our tag champ. Don't want to get her injured like SmackDown does, so we give her time off. For the pay-per-view, we pick up the Macho Man. Then we go Shawn Michaels versus Stone Cold Tables match. Shawn Michaels picks up the win. Stone Cold didn't win a single match in a classic. In the rivalry, Michaels ends it. Not a single match. Bailey does a promo. Hogan, Scott Hall, Extreme Rules. We're going to end the rivalry here. And Hogan picks up yet another win in an amazing match. Ends the rivalry. Rhea Ripley does some charity for tattoos. Edge and Macho Man versus Finn and Drew. TLC, Finn and Drew. Pick up the win. Drew's just a tag team specialist. Start to rivalry, so we'll see more. Sasha couldn't compete against Tony. Does charity. Breeze versus Damien Priest. Tables match. And Priest picks up the win, ending their rivalry in a great match. We have a self-promo by Payne Royce. And here we go. Main event. Randy Cena. Title on the line. Extreme Rules. Austin Theory costs Randy the title. And Cena's the champ. The champ! Over to SmackDown's pay-per-view, Mealy puts Undertaker in a universal title match against John Morrison. Hell in a cell. Morrison picks up the win and gets injured. Ends their rivalry. The injuries are just crazy. Roderick Strong, promo Mandy Rose versus Cora Cut. Cora Cut picks up the win. She wins the tag team. Now she has some momentum going. Becky Lynch cuts a promo. We have Tamina versus Tamara. Rivalry that just why? Eh, Tamara picks up the win. It's the night of the jobbers. Why not? Mickey James cuts a promo. Why isn't she on the card? Natalia c runs in on Oscar while she competes against Maya, and it doesn't matter. Oscar comes back, picks up the win. Batista calls out Roderick Strong. Robert Roode versus Titus. He called him out. TLC and Titus picks up the win, and Robert gets injured, but we win. That's all that matters. Ready. I have some beetle. Here we are. Stone Cold wants a new contract, and while he's losing, everyone loves Stone Cold. We have to bring him back. Macho Man wants a match in Tampa, friends and family. Edge wants Drew. He wants to kick his ass. He's tired of losing to Drew. So we say, you got it, Edge. Kick that man's ass. Have a nice day, shithole.